sitting next to me today is a 2022 F-150 Lightning Lariat. And of course, today I'm gonna to be bringing you a review of Ford's new electric truck. So let's hop right into the video. All right, so first I wanna start with the window sticker of this vehicle, because we all know that the F-150 Lightning can get quite expensive. Since this is the Laird, it's one trim under the Platinum, which is going to be your top end. This truck right here costs around $81,000, $81,089 to be exact. And it is loaded with quite a bit of options. The most important being the extended range battery on this truck and the max trailer tow package. Now that max trailer tow package means that this can tow up to 10 thousand pounds now that is with the all-season tires if you do get the 20 inch all-terrain tires that is only 9400 pounds so if you do want that full 10,000 pounds make sure you do get those all-season tires and not the all-terrain other options include things like the partition lockable storage the onboard scales which is nice you can weigh your trailer and its cargo based on the scales on the truck um, the twin panel moonroof and a bunch of other stuff stuff that doesn't really matter all right so moving on to other parts of the exterior up front you can see of course there is no grill because of course this doesn't have an engine so it doesn't need one so let's go ahead and look at the front of this vehicle ford calls this the mega power front which i think is kind of a ridiculous name but whatever there it goes it takes a while so of course this is the mega power front this has up to a 400 pound payload capacity with 14.1 cubic feet of cargo space on the inside 400 pounds is quite a bit and people have even said this is around the size of what a typical mid-size compact sedan's trunk is so that's pretty impressive it's the largest trunk in the car industry right now so to see this on vehicles is pretty nice now on the interior you also have these lighting features right here and then a button right here just in case someone gets stuck inside this i don't know who's getting thrown in their mega power frunk but uh, just in case you also have four 120 volt outlets right here with a usb type a and a usb type c so if you've seen the ford commercials you see people plugging blenders and power tools into these things if you guess if you wanted to you know plug a toaster or a tv in you could um i don't know who's actually going to use it as this because i don't really see i, I think only 20% of the people who buy this truck are actually going to be using it that way. Um, I think most people who are going to get like the Lariat or the Platinum models are going to be driving them as luxury vehicles. So most likely won't see much use out of this, but it is a nice thing for Ford to include for power users of the F-150 Lightning. And of course it is electronically closing. So you can just press this button right here and it will shut the mega power frunk. I still think that name is just absolutely ridiculous anyways other things on the exterior include this light bar up front which is a lot different looking than the normal f-150 it adds kind of a styling flare so that way you know it's a lightning on the road when you see it this also has different taillights than the normal f-150 does as well this has the star white metallic paint which is really nice these are the like i said 20 inch all season tires which nice as well and i love the look of these rims those rims are actually going to improve the range of this vehicle because of how they send air around them and around the vehicle increases the aerodynamics of this vehicle and you're going to have to do that because this thing is like a brick driving on the road it's not very aerodynamic at all of course charging port on this side and the other side and moving on to the back of course you have the lightning badge right here which is nice and cool. I like the little blue undertones with the little lightning bolt coming off of the T, but let's move on to the back and go over some of the things back here. Like I said, this has a different tail light setup than the normal F-150. It has the light bar right here with the reverse lights integrated right here. I actually really like the look of it. It looks a lot cleaner than a normal F-150 does. It has a tonneau cover on it as well. Let's see if I can pop this open. Yep, I sure can. And the owner of this truck clearly likes their Monster Energy. But as you can see right here, nice size bed. So yeah, we can go ahead and shut this and it, you let it drop, it helps you up the rest of the way. But that is the exterior of the F-150 Lightning. Quite a bit of styling cues have changed on this vehicle, but I do like the look of it. Um, so let's move on to the interior and see what's going on in there. All right, so moving on to the interior of the F-150 Lightning. Like I said, some things have changed, other things have not. The first thing you're going to notice is this massive screen in the center right here. Now, lower trim level F-150 Lightnings get the same screen that a regular high-end F-1, regular F-150 would get running Sync 4. This also runs Sync 4, so we can go ahead and start this up. 
it's silent, which is nice, but this is the Mach-E style screen that was first again introduced in the Mach-E. Of course, you can adjust all your drive modes through this screen. The climate controls are controlled through this screen and all of your heated seat controls and everything like that are also controlled through this screen. Everything is basically controlled through this screen, including your tow modes and everything like that. Your gauge cluster looks the same with a bit different on the styling of the gauges. And of course, on the digital gauge cluster, you do have, instead of a gas meter, you have how much electricity you have left in your battery, which is nice to see as always. But yeah, that for the screens and the gauge cluster is about all that's different. I've gone over this screen a hundred times before in the Mach-E. So if you do want to see a more in-depth tutorial of this screen, make sure to go watch those other videos. It is a nice operating system, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, if you do care about that. This also has Ford's Blue Cruise Adaptive Cruise Control System, which lets you take your hands off the steering wheel and it will read your eyes to make sure you're paying attention to the road. Or in, And if you don't, it will turn off the adaptive cruise control and have you take control. But yes, this uses the same technology that Cadillac Super Cruise uses, um, except this one, I guess, is more widely available and cheaper to get your hands on because it's in Fords and not Cadillacs. But yeah, nice system. Can't wait to try it out. Other things in the F-150 are pretty standard in here. You have another 120-volt outlet, 12-volt socket bunch of space on the interior with your two glove boxes and then your center console is a good size as well absolutely massive like every other f-150 and of course you have the gear selector that folds down which is nice so yeah the f-150 other than those little changes basically remains the same like i said this does have the twin panel moonroof which is cool and the back seats are basically the same heated rear seats and climate control in the back with plenty of legroom sitting back there you're gonna have around six inches to a foot of legroom so you won't have any problems sitting back there and not having space so that is the f-150 lightning lariat i cannot wait to see more of these trucks on the road and though they are right now quite a bit of money and the markups on these when they do start hitting lots is going to be tremendous i bet you see 20 or 30 grand packed into these things um it would not surprise me at all but it'll be fun when you start seeing these out on the road or when everyone can get their hands on one because they are really good trucks the range is the downside but everything else is really good and if you do want to tow more than 10,000 pounds you can go buy something like the 3.5 liter with the max trailer tow package which tows quite a bit more than this one does so yeah if you guys like the video make sure you hit that like button down below and if you want to see more from us make sure you subscribe and i will see you all in the next video